Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to make something like this in FreeCAD. We will do this as an exercise to practice the basic issues related to creating 3D models in FreeCAD. Before we start, just a quick note. You'll find links to my FreeCAD courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now I will switch to FreeCAD and show you how to make such a part. We start a new project as a parametric part. Here, we will start by creating a sketch on the XZ plane and create two lines. First, let's create a line like this. Okay, and let's create a second line like this so that the ends of these lines lie on the X axis and one line is constrained to the Y axis. I click the right mouse button to cancel the line drawing command. I select the two lines and choose the equality constraint. I select one line and define its length as 50 millimeters. And now I define the distance between these lines as 5 millimeters. Okay, we have something like this. Now I select draw circle and draw the first circle in such a way that the center of this circle lies on the x axis and the second point is constrained to this point. I draw the second circle such that the center of the second circle is constrained to the center of the first circle and the point of the circle is constrained to the end of the line. We do the same on this side. We draw the first circle like this and the second circle like this. I right click to cancel the circle drawing command. Here I will immediately add a constraint defining that these two points lie on one horizontal line. Okay. Now I select this circle. I select this circle and press the E key on the keyboard to apply the equality constraint. I select dimensioning and set the diameter of this circle to, for example, 35 millimeters. Okay. Now I select draw line and draw a line so that the first point of the line is constrained to this circle and the second point of the line is constrained to this circle. This line should be a horizontal line. If this line is not horizontal for you, apply the horizontal constraint after drawing the line. And here we draw the second line in this way. Okay, so that the end points of the line lie on the circles, I right click to cancel the line drawing command. Now I select this point, I select this point and choose the horizontal vertical constraint here so that this line lies in line with the center point of the circle. And here let's do this. We select the line, select the circle, and choose the perpendicular constraint. Next, we select the line, select the x axis, and here define the angle dimension as 30 degrees. Okay, we have such a sketch. I now select the geometry trimming command and trim unnecessary geometry fragments. First, I trim this part of the circle. Then I trim this part of the circle. If after trimming the geometry it looks like too much geometry was cut, simply press the Ctrl Z key and try trimming again. Sometimes trimming doesn't work correctly. Arrows appear here. Okay, we trim the unnecessary geometry fragments. We have such a sketch. We close the sketch and based on this sketch, we create a solid by extruding the sketch to a value of 30 millimeters. And here we select the symmetric to plane option. Click OK and we have something like this. Now we will create another sketch. This time we will create a sketch on the XY plane. As you can see, we already have a solid. We don't have to create a sketch on the solid's face. We can still use the basic planes of the coordinate system. And here we select the X, Y plane as the sketch plane. Now I will create reference geometry here. I select the external geometry command and indicate geometry on this solid to create a few reference geometries here. I don't know exactly which geometries I will need yet, so I will create a few reference geometries here. And now I select draw circle and draw a circle such that the center of the circle is more or less here. And I constrain the point of the circle to this reference geometry point. Okay, I click the right mouse button to cancel the circle drawing command. 
Now I would like the center of the circle to be in one vertical line with this point. Therefore, I select these two points and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. And here, a constraint was automatically applied, defining that these two points lie in one vertical line. Now I need to adjust the dimension of this circle a bit here. And we can do it by defining the distance between these points. And first I'll set it up more or less like this. Now I simply select these two points. I select dimensioning, and here I define the distance as 35 millimeters. This dimension doesn't matter much. The point here is just to remove material from this solid based on this sketch. We can leave it like this. We close the sketch, and now based on this sketch, we will remove material from the solid. I select the pocket operation. Here I select the through all option and check the symmetric to plane option. Okay, that suits me. I click OK. Now I select this operation. I select the mirror command. And here I indicate the XZ plane as the mirror plane. I click OK and we have something like this. We can add fillets here as well. I select the fillet command and indicate this edge and this edge. Here I specify the radius value as 2 millimeters and click OK. And, as you can see, in this relatively simple way, we created such a 3D model in FreeCAD. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and if you'd like more videos like this, consider subscribing.